In this video, I'd like to revise two key factors to do with vectors, which are going to be very useful when talking about vector fields. So let's say we have some vector V here. Two crucial things are the length or magnitude of the vector, which is written mod V, and the unit vector, which is written V with a little cap over it. So what do they look like? Well, the magnitude of V is just a distance from there to here. A unit vector is in the same direction, but of length 1. So how do you work them out? Well, let's say the vector starts at uh, x1, y1, z1, and ends at x2, y2, and z2 then the absolute magnitude, the mod magnitude of the vector, is just the square root of x1 minus x2 squared, or it can be x2 minus x1 squared when you square it, it makes no difference, plus the same thing for the other. And as before, it doesn't matter which order you put the ones and the twos in here, as by the time it's squared it comes out positive anyway. The unit vector, well, the vector v is going to be the endpoint minus the start point, as with all vectors, so that's x2 minus x1. Now, the unit vector is going to be exactly the same, but multiplied by some constant to give it a length 1. And in fact, the constant is just 1 over the magnitude, so v unit vector is just equal to v divided by mod v. So in this case that would be equal to, and that's all there is to it.